290.4 pounds. This is going to be the hardest video I've ever done in my life. So the truth of the matter is this. I'm fat and overweight. Do I care about it? Yes, I care myself. Do I care what other people have to say? Not really. It doesn't really bother me at all. I know I'm going to receive hate comments in the comment section down below. But it doesn't really bother me. I'll probably just delete them anyways. I'll see them. I'll say, oh, that's rude. And then I'll delete it. But does it bother me? Does it sway my opinion of myself? No, not at all. And that's what I'm here to talk to you guys about today. Bullying. I've been meaning to do a video about this for such a long time, but I never had got around to it. And now I'm kind of influenced to do it, um, first of all, by, by, I don't know what it is that sparked it, but by stepping on the scale today and seeing my weight, it just kind of inspired me. And we'll get a little bit more onto that a little bit later. But first off, we want to talk about bullying. It's not cool. First off, if you see a bully, make sure that if you're a child, first and foremost, report it to an authority figure. Whether it be at school, make sure that you report it to the nearest adult. If it's at home or uh, in your neighborhood, report it to your parent or to the nearest adult. And let them know, because it needs to stop right when it first happens, or it can get progressively worse. Bullies and bullying are the worst type of uh, acts of aggression that can be put upon a person, especially a younger person, because it really can affect the way that they view themselves or begin to view themselves. Every person knows exactly what it is that he or she likes and loves. And the younger you are, the easier it is to manipulate that, to change it. And when bullying occurs, it can change that. And it can make mental behaviors or disorders start to happen. And it's not cool. And I want you guys to know that bullying is not cool. I do not condone it whatsoever. We've had a couple instances where it's happened with Caden at school. We nipped it in the butt really, really early. And it hasn't happened since. So make sure it's key that you tell somebody right away. That person that's bullying you might call you a snitch or a bitch, or it doesn't really matter exactly what it is that they call you. They're going to call you probably all kinds of names for telling on them or ratting them out. Or that friend's friend of the bully might say something about you. But don't let that bother you because telling the person that is going to actually deal with this problem and deal with the person on their own is the most important thing that you can do to stop this from happening anymore. Next, I want to say... I want to give you guys some words of encouragement. I started off by I started off this video by saying I'm fat and overweight. Own yourself. Um, you might be stinky and poor. You might just be stinky. You might be poor. You might have a mental disability. Um, you might have uh, I don't know some type of handicap. You might be anorexic. You might have an eating disorder. There could be a multiple amount of problems with yourself. First off, you got to be okay with it. You just say it out loud to yourself one, one time. I have this problem. Whatever problem it is. I have blank. I am blank. But guess what? It sounds better to yourself every time that you say it. And what's in your heart is what matters. It's not your appearance. It's not your color. It's not the color of your skin. It's not what you look like. It's not what you wear. It's not how you feel. It's not how you act. It's not the music that you like. It's not any of those things. None of that matters. It's what's in your heart that matters, guys. Don't let anybody change that. The friends that you surrounded yourself with should be ones that care and support for everything that you do and you say. They're going to back you up 100%, no matter what. They might not agree with what it is that you're doing, but they're going to be there for you and help you out along the way. Those are the people that you listen to. Those are the people that you let in to influence some of your decision making. They're going to give you the good words of advice. The friends that are there to laugh at you and steer you in the wrong direction and say a friend wants to go do drugs or they want to go smoke some weed, or go drink some alcohol, or go bust out a window, or go beat down a fence or something like that. And 
you and, and they and they try to encourage you to go do that with them, but you don't want to, and they end up trying to make fun of you or tell you that you're no fun or that you're you're not going to be their friend anymore. Guess what? They're not true friends. They're not true friends. So let that person make that decision. Or if you're their true friend, you tell them exactly what it is that you feel about that situation. I don't want to partake in this. I don't want to participate in that. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And tell them why. And if they can't take that reasonably, or they don't want to be your friend, then let them move on. And that's exactly what I want to say. Guys, it doesn't matter who you are, what you are, it's what's in your heart that counts. That's what everybody should love about you, is what's in your heart. Not everybody's going to like you. They're not going to like you for what you say, or what you believe in, or what you do. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but don't be somebody else that you are not. Because when you start to become somebody else that you are not, the harder it's going to be for you to come back to that person that you originally were. You're going to drift further away. And eventually at some point, you're probably going to come to a crossroads in your life where you're not going to know who you are. And you're going to lose that touch of who you were. And it's going to take you that much longer to become who it is that you wanted to be. And I just want to give you guys words of encouragement to let you guys know that I love you all. You're the best subscribers in the world. And I want to start this video off I've, I've been wanting to do vlogs, and, I, and I've done vlogs, but not too many of them. And I want to start this off a little bit differently this time, because I've got some goals in mind that I have set for myself, um, especially with jumping on the scale. This is the point I want to get to towards the end of this video. Stepping on the scale today, I saw my weight, and uh, <laughs> I'm not proud of it. And I'm not proud of some of the decisions that I've made. And what I want to do is start working towards a goal. In high school, I was skinny, I was fit, I played sports, but I've been out of high school for 13 years now. And over that course of 13 years, I've gained weight, I've made life decisions that I probably shouldn't have made. And I know that I need to correct that. And I had started on a journey not too long ago, a couple years ago, and I lost some weight, but then I ended up pretty much gaining most of it all back. I think the worst I got up to was about 315 pounds. Now I'm at 290. I lost all the way down to about 250. Then I gained it back. I'm back up to 290 again. I've ballooned. I've yo-yo dieted. I've done all this and that, but this time I'm ready to stick to it, especially with some positive words of encouragement. And with you guys as well. I want to take this journey with you guys and with my family. Um, it might mean a little bit less video gaming all the time. I'm a, I'm a nerd and a gamer at heart and so is most of it. So is my family. My wife, she likes video games. She likes to nerd it out. Caden, he loves to video game and nerd it out. But in the same sense, you've got to have a good balance. And by a good balance, I mean going out and exercising and doing the things that it is that you need to do to have that vitality and get fit. Feel good about yourself. I've been sick more this winter than I have, that I can remember in a long time. And I think a lot of it has to do with my weight. And so I want to start doing a little bit more fit exercises. I'm going to take you guys along the journey with me. I'm not sure if we're going to do a vlog video every 10 days. It might be more like every 20. It kind of just depends on how the results are going for uh, myself and probably for my family because I'm sure they'll pick up a little bit on the active lifestyle as well. So you might see some changes with them too. But I want you guys to join me on this journey to uh, overall fitness and well-being for not only for me but for yourself as well and I want you guys to be able to see that hope is there believe in yourself and you can achieve anything it is that you want to and don't let anything or anybody stop you in that pursuit of happiness as for now we're done there thanks for watching don't forget to slap that like button leave a comment down below and subscribe peace out and bedizzle